guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new Under Armour Clutch Fit Force. Now inside the box all you get are the shoes themselves, they do not come with any extras. So let me get these out of the box really quickly and if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the new Clutch Fit Force, Clutch Fit being the name of their new line and Force being the name of the new top and model. Now before I get into the shoes themselves and they are pretty interesting, I want to talk about the brand as a whole because a lot of people tend to write Under Armour off because they're fairly new to the soccer world and they have had some questionable high-end models in the past. There's no denying that. They started in 2009 and since then have progressed a lot as a company to the point where their shoes are really good and really competitive in comparison to the big brands like Nike, Adidas, and Puma. If you go back just two years now, they had the Hydra Strike 2 Pro, which in my opinion was a fantastic shoe. They had the Under Armour Blur Carbon 3, which was my personal favorite shoe of 2013. The Blur Carbon 4 is now, that's still a really good shoe. So I have pretty high hopes for the Clutch Fit Force. And again, I just want you guys to have an open mind when you look at any Under Armour product, especially when it comes to their soccer cleats, because they really Really are an innovative company they're a progressive company they're putting out designs and technologies that are their own they're not copying Nike they're not copying Adidas they're coming up with their own unique designs that really do perform the part from what I've tried out over the last couple of years so clutch fit force what's it all about it's being labeled, I've seen it labeled several places as a comfort shoe, and that's kind of a little bit dumb to me. I think every soccer shoe or any piece of footwear should be comfortable on your feet. But what's unique about this shoe is definitely the upper, in that it's a synthetic upper, but with a bit of a twist. Um, basically, it's called Trivella Microfiber, and the basis of this synthetic material is that you have a main microfiber synthetic, and you can see it's not overly thin, but it's a stretchable microfiber synthetic, which reminds me a little bit of the Adapt Light synthetic found on the Puma Evo Power 1, and you can see that it actually does have a little bit of stretch to it. And then on the outside, which gives this shoe this unique pattern, which I actually think looks pretty cool, definitely not the most premium looking shoe in person, I must admit, but I think that from a distance, I really like this particular pattern they have going on there but anyways on the outside of the shoe you have a 3d printed rubber support cage with these little kind of cutouts it's like an hourglass shape and you can see that some of the hourglass shapes are a little bit more spread out some of them are a little bit more dense but this entire kind of navy blue shell on the outside is actually made from a very very thin layer of rubber and this acts as your support cage so because you have this stretchy microfiber synthetic underneath this rubber cage is actually going to support the um, upper itself so it's kind of an interesting uh, idea it's a similar concept to the um, energy sling on the nitro charge 1.0 from adidas and that it's designed to provide more responsiveness more lateral support when making these hard cuts and you can see that it's a lot thicker in these lateral areas where you're going to be cutting a little bit harder and then it's more spread out here in the areas of the shoe that you're going to be making contact with the ball you want it to be a little bit thinner a little bit more flexible and the idea here is to have an upper that's going to move very naturally with your foot and in terms of softness and flexibility it's definitely there it feels pretty good doesn't look the most premium but it feels good and that's what's important at the end of the day it does have a central lacing system as you can see the tongue is unfortunately not made from the same material I'm not sure why that is it's made from a much more rigid synthetic so that's a bit of a bummer right there but again I haven't worn the shoes yet so I don't really want to say too much as to how it actually does perform and also just touching on that rubber uh, kind of layer on the outside I'm not sure how much additional grip it's going to provide on the ball just from feeling it on my hands it's not a particularly grippy rubber so I don't expect it to perform that much differently in terms of providing a lot of extra grip on the ball but again until actually having worn them it's kind of difficult to say and another thing is how is this going to perform in wet weather conditions with all the rubber also I would expect the durability of the shoe to be pretty good considering you have rubber going along the entire base of the sole plate. So if durability is a concern for you, I think that this is going to be one of the more durable thin synthetic lightweight shoes currently out there on the market. Moving to the back of the shoe, you can see that it does have a fairly high cut in the back of the Achilles area. So it's going to have a nice deep fit and really hug your foot nicely, which you guys will see a little bit later in the on feet portion of the video. Then it has a very unique external heel counter that I think looks pretty cool. Um, it's got basically your a uh, big kind of rounded edge here on both the lateral and medial side with a cutout right there and it's not a true cutout there is still plastic underneath there so it's not like uh, 
what we've seen on some of Puma's SL models and their speed line where there's an actual cutout with no material backing it. There is still a, a plastic internal uh, heel cup along with the external one. So very, very solid, lots of protection in the heel, lots of lateral stability. And you can see the back is completely solid as well. Definitely has a cool look and I'm sure will perform the part as well. The heel liner is made from a synthetic leather material and there's lots of padding in there. So again, comfort should not be an issue whatsoever. The insole is removable, although they do glue it in which is kind of better in the long run. It doesn't allow it to slip around or anything like that. And this is essentially um, Under Armour's 4D foam and micro G insole. This is what you're gonna find in all their top end shoes, as well as some of their takedowns. And in my opinion, it's the best insole you can get on any pair of soccer cleats. This 4D foam is the green layer here, so you can see it's very, very thin. Think of it as like a memory foam. There's no lining on top. So it dries very quickly and it actually grips your socks quite nicely as well. And that's like I said, that memory foam top layer, whereas the orange layer, which is significantly thicker as you can see, is that micro G foam. This is a very responsive foam, very spongy feeling. And in terms of stepping into these shoes, you're gonna get a ton of underfoot cushioning that you're not gonna get from any other brand other than Under Armour. So again, if you're looking for tons and tons of cushioning, almost like a running shoe type of effect, this insole is definitely something to consider. And Under Armour shoes, like I said, are really the only ones that offer it at this point in time. As far as the outsole is concerned, you can see it's a TPU plastic outsole, nothing too crazy here. And the sub pattern itself is technically all new, although it is very similar to what you're gonna find on the Hydra Strike model. And if it performs similarly, I would expect it to be very, very good. So you can see you have four studs in the heel. They're kind of a combination of bladed and conical studs. They're more bladed in terms of being uh, slightly longer on one edge, but they have more of a rounded shape to them as well. The same goes for the studs in the forefoot. You have four on the outside, three on the inside, and then one support stud in the middle with kind of this bone graphic kind of in the sole plate. I think it looks pretty cool. Really has nothing to do with performance, but again, it looks the part and I'm sure it will perform the part. Like I said, I've used a, st a stud pattern on a previous Under Armour shoe that see looks very similar to this. So again, I would expect it to perform very similarly as well. But that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs and what you need to know about the Clutch Fit Force. Leave your opinions on the shoe down below in the comments. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. And with that being said, let's move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. As far as weight is concerned, the Clutch Fit 4 certainly isn't the lightest shoe out there, but it isn't by any means heavy either. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 8 ounces exactly. So again, a shoe that is going to feel lightweight both in hand and on feet, but at the same time still maintains a solid construction and just feels very well made overall. Um, of course, Under Armour already has their blur line as their current speed boot line of shoes, if you will. So again, I don't think the main goal of the Clutch Fit was to be as light as possible. But again, if you're looking for something that is still moderately lightweight, with the features that the clutch of it has to offer, then again, this is a shoe that certainly isn't going to weigh you down. And I also don't think that weight should be the deciding factor if you're considering a pair of clutch fit forces. All right, here's a look at the clutch fits on feet. And I must say, I'm really happy with how these fit and feel. From right out of the box, they're comfortable. The synthetic upper is soft, flexible, and does have that slight stretch about it, um, which reminds me a lot of the Adapt Light synthetic found on the Evo Power One, as well as Nike skin in terms of its sock-like feel on feet. I also took the time to grab a ball for a few seconds and just play around with it, just to see if that rubberized uh, texturing on the outside would make any difference in terms of touch. And it actually does provide a lot of additional grip. So to a certain extent, it does remind me also of the Predator LZ2 in regards to touch. So this shoe for the most part is pretty unique in terms of what types of elements it combines all in one. And I'm just very curious to see how it's going to perform. The upper is thin, it's soft and flexible, but at the same time doesn't feel flimsy. And they're really touting the responsiveness of the shoe due to this external 3D printed kind of support frame on the outside of the boot. So again, very interesting design and it feels really good on feet. I'm pleasantly surprised. In terms of fit, um, it's a great shape. It reminds me a lot of the Mercurial Vapor 9, but slightly wider pretty much all the way through. So you have a little bit more width in the midfoot, a lot more width in the forefoot and toe box. And for the most part, it's gonna be suitable for a wide variety of foot types. Even if you do have slightly wider feet, I wouldn't have too many worries here. Again, just keep in mind, it is a synthetic upper. So in terms of having that permanent stretch, once you break them in, I don't think that's going to be the case here. So as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, you shouldn't have any issues fitting into these shoes whatsoever. In 
In terms of sizing, I find most of Under Armour's models run about a half size small, and these are no different. Instead of going with my usual size 9, I went to a 9.5 US, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would go a half size up, or if you're sizing based on previous Under Armour models, just go for the same size. All right guys, sit for my unboxing of the Under Armour Clutch Fit Force. This is to me a very interesting shoe that I'm excited to try out. This Trivella upper with the 3D printed covering on the outside, to me is just a very unique and interesting concept and I'm curious to see how it's going to perform. From right out of the box, I can tell you that the shoe is extremely comfortable and the upper feels and moves very naturally with your foot, which is always a good thing. The stud pattern, like I said, is not necessarily completely new, uh, familiar to me at least, and I would expect it to perform just as good as what I've tried in the past. And overall, I'm just very optimistic about the overall performance of the shoe. I just hope it's as responsive as under armor is saying it is also it's pretty attractive in my opinion um, and one of the better looking under armor shoes that they've put out so far so other than that though guys i'm going to get to testing these right away and hopefully we'll have a full written review up for you guys in about a month's time as far as getting a pair of these for yourself they have not gone up yet for sale um, I'm expecting them to go up for sale in the next couple of days, so keep checking back to the review page on my website if you're interested in ordering a pair for yourself. In the meantime though, that review page, you will find uh, the high quality images of this exact pair here, just to give you a better idea as to how they do look in person. And of course, all of that is linked down below in the description, so be sure to go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions regarding this shoe at all, be sure to leave those down below in the comments, and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like, subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching